Stargard disease is the most common inherited retinal disease. It usually has an autosomal recessive inheritance caused by mutations in the ABCA4 gene. Rarely it has an autosomal dominant inheritance due to defects with ELOVL4 or PROM1 genes. It is characterized by macular degeneration that begins in childhood, adolescence, or adults, resulting in progressive loss of vision. Signs and Symptoms Presentation usually occurs in childhood or adolescence, though there is no upper age limit for presentation. The main symptom is loss of visual acuity, uncorrectable with glasses. This is manifest as the loss of the ability to see fine details when reading or seeing distant objects. Symptoms typically develop before age 20, median age of onset, 17 years old, and include, wavy vision, blind spots, blurriness, loss of depth perception, sensitivity to glare, impaired color vision, and difficulty adapting to dim lighting, delayed dark adaptation. There is a wide variation between individuals in the symptoms experienced as well as the rate of deterioration in vision. Peripheral vision is usually less affected than fine, central, foveal, vision. Genetics Historically from Stargard's first description of his eponymous disease until recently, the diagnosis was based on looking at the phenotype using examination and investigation of the eye. Since the advent of genetic testing, the picture has become more complex. What was thought to be one disease is in fact probably at least three different diseases each related to a different genetic change. So at the moment what is Stargardé disease is a little confusing. It is certainly caused by defects in the ABCA4 gene, but whether changes to other genes such as PROM1, ELOVL4, or the role of mesense mutations remains to be seen. The carrier frequency in the general population of ABCA4 alleles is 5 to 10 percent. Different combinations of ABCA4 genes will result in widely different age of onset and retinal pathology. The severity of the disease is inversely proportional to ABCA4 function and it is thought that ABCA4-related disease has a role to play in other diseases such as retinitis pigmentosa, cone rod dystrophies, and age-related macular degeneration, AMD. STGD1, by far the most common form of Stargard disease is the recessive form caused by mutations in the ABCA4 gene. STGD4, a rare dominant defect in the PROM1 gene. STGD3, a rare dominant form of Stargard disease caused by mutations in the ELOVL4 gene. Late onset Stargard disease is associated with mesense mutations outside known functional domains of ABCA4. Pathophysiology In STGD1, the genetic defect causes malfunction of the ADP binding cassette transporter, ABCA4, protein of the visual phototransduction cycle. Defective ABCA4 leads to improper shuttling of vitamin A throughout the retina, an accelerated formation of toxic vitamin A dimers, also known as bisretinoids, and associated degradation byproducts. Vitamin A dimers and other byproducts are widely accepted as the cause of STGD1. As such, slowing the formation of vitamin A dimers might lead to a treatment for Stargard. When vitamin A dimers and byproducts damage the retinal cells, Fluorescent granules called lipofuscin in the retinal pigmented epithelium of the retina appear, as a reflecting such damage. In STGD4, a butterfly pattern of dystrophy is caused by mutations in a gene that encodes a membrane-bound protein that is involved in the elongation of very long-chain fatty acids, ELOVL4. Diagnosis Diagnosis is firstly clinical through history and examination usually with a slit lamp. If characteristic features are found the investigations undertaken will depend on locally available equipment and may include scanning laser ophthalmoscopy which highlights areas of autofluorescence which are associated with retinal pathology. Optical coherence tomography and electroretinography are also very useful for diagnostic and prognostic purposes. These investigations may be followed by genetic testing but this is not essential until treatment is available. Fluorescein angiography is used less often than in the past. Treatment At present there is no treatment. However, ophthalmologists recommend measures that could slow the rate of progression of the disease. 
There are no prospective clinical trials to support the recommendations but they are based on scientific understanding of the mechanisms underlying the disease pathology. There are three main pillars to potential harm reduction, reducing retinal exposure to damaging ultraviolet light, avoiding foods rich in vitamin A with the hope of lowering lipofuscin accumulation and maintaining good general health and diet. Ultraviolet light has more energy and is the most damaging color of visible light. When outdoors especially in bright sunshine wear a wide-brimmed hat and sunglasses that block ultraviolet light. Some ophthalmologists also recommend wearing yellow tinted, these absorb blue light, glasses when indoors in artificial light or in front of a computer monitor or similar device. Foods rich in vitamin A should be avoided, in particular carrots. Foods with a high vitamin A content are often yellow or orange in color, such as, squash, pumpkin, and sweet potato but some are not, such as liver. Check that any vitamin supplements you take do not add vitamin A to your intake. Do not smoke, keep fit and maintain a healthy diet. Eating oily fish is recommended by some doctors in a diet similar to that recommended for age-related macular degeneration. Prognosis the long-term prognosis for patients with Stargard disease is widely variable and depends on the age of onset and genetic alleles. The majority of people will progress to legal blindness. Stargard disease has no impact on general health and life expectancy is normal. Some patients, usually those with the late onset form, can maintain excellent visual acuities for extended periods, and are therefore able to perform tasks such as reading or driving. Epidemiology a 2017 prospective epidemiologic study which recruited 81 patients with STGD over 12 months reported an incidence of between 1 and 1.28 per 10 individuals. The median age of presentation was 27 years, range 5 to 64 years, most, 90%, were symptomatic, with a median visual acuity of Snellen equivalent 2066. History Carl Stargard, 1875-1927, was a German ophthalmologist born in Berlin. He studied medicine at the University of Kiel, qualifying in 1899. He later became head of the Bonn University's ophthalmology clinic, followed by a post as chair of ophthalmology at the University of Marburg. In 1909 he described seven patients with a recessively inherited macular dystrophy, this is now known as Stargard's disease. After much careful scientific study the underlying cause for Stargard's disease was discovered in 1997 to be the ABCA4 gene. Research There are early stage clinical trials involving several potential therapeutic areas, gene therapy, stem cell therapy, drug therapy, and artificial retinas. In general all are testing the safety and benefits of their respective therapies in phase I or II trials. These studies are designed to evaluate the safety, dose, and effectiveness in small number of people in Phase I with Phase II evaluating similar criteria in a larger population but including a greater insight into potential side effects. Gene therapy is designed to insert a copy of a corrected gene into retinal cells. The hope is to return cell function back to normal and the treatment has the potential to stop disease progression. This therapy will not restore impaired vision back to normal. The research is being undertaken by a partnership between Sanofi and Oxford Biomedica. A lentiviral vector is used to deliver normal genes to the eye via a subretinal injection. The therapy is known as SAR422459 and it is in phase I-2 trials at present, 2018. Stem cell therapy involves injecting cells with the potential to mature into differentiated and functioning retinal cells. This therapy has the potential stop disease progression and in the long term improve vision. To improve vision this technique will need to replicate the complex multilayered and neurally anatomy of the retina. There are a number of research groups working with stem cells one of which is Akita Therapeutics. Alcuz Pharma is evaluating the potential of deuterated vitamin A as the drug ALK001. The hope is that the deuterated vitamin A will reduce the buildup of toxic vitamin A metabolites in the retina and therefore slow rate of visual deterioration. To create deuterated vitamin A some of the hydrogen atoms are replaced with the isotope deuterium which has an extra neutron and is therefore twice the standard atomic weight of hydrogen. 
patients taking this drug will need to have a diet with very low levels of naturally occurring vitamin A. A phase 2 clinical trial is taking place using ALK001 that should report in January 2019. Retinal implants are in the early stages of development and their use could be of benefit to many people with visual impairment though implanting and maintaining an electrical device within the eye that interfaces with the optic nerve presents many challenges. An example of a device is made by Argus Retinal Prosthesis, the camera is an external device held on spectacles, the camera signal is processed and then fed via wires into the retina to terminate in some electrodes that interface with the optic nerve. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.